Since the tower is such an inconceivably butt-blasting amount of awesome, that I'm gonna start using it to describe kickassery beyond human comprehension. My goofy-ass dog is Pizza Tower. Laying into some meat bags in VR is Pizza Tower. Getting that 3 a.m. sloppy in a gas station parking lot, call that a Pizza Tower. <laughs> oh god, I love this game! If the gameplay hadn't clued you in already, Pizza Tower is a high-paced, hot-footed hellraiser where you collect pizza points and pineapples until you hit the finish line and have to gun it back through the entire level as fast as you can. The main gist is that you want to try and get as high a score as possible in that time frame while trying not to get your ass beat. But if I can level with you real fast, I mostly just bought Pizza Tower because of all these awesome drawings. I was just lucky that this MS Paint Art Gallery came packaged with a bonus one of the most fun games I've ever played. But that's the thing, just as much as anything else, Pizza Tower is a platformer game, and an exploration game, and a speedrun game, and an MS Paint art gallery. You can enjoy it however you want, and it's accommodating to any and all playstyles, which makes it just as perfect for casual players as it is for 110% completion speedrun maniacs. But beyond exploration and score chasing, you know what's absolutely Pizza Tower about Pizza Tower? Literally everything else! How are you not gonna love a game that goes from riding a giant hot dog through waves of enemies to Five Nights at Fettuccini's where after you're done getting chased by animatronics, you get a shotgun and use it to run and gun back through the level, ass blasting every dickhead who got in your way. And the game's full of this stuff. Each and every level has its own unique mechanics driving the gameplay, and the only constant between it all is your tuned to perfection moveset and Pepino's irresistible Italian mojo. One single level can have you go from rocket riding to much, much bigger rocket riding, to plowing through aliens and giant bubbles, to doing all that stuff at the same time but also with portals. And that's just one example, check this magic forest level where you tag team off with this little dude and his pet rat who have their own set of completely fleshed out moves and abilities. Like a wrecking ball on a wall jump and just being a little dude riding on a giant rat. Pizza Tower is overflowing with this sort of variety and it doesn't just keep you guessing what kind of crazy crud's gonna happen next. This constant flow of orangutan with a gun unpredictability is what takes the game's crazy scale from Minecraft with your cousin to listening to Doom music while driving in a school zone. What are you gonna do when you're just playing a level like normal and all of a sudden there's a pirate goblin shooting cannonballs at you? You're gonna come along for the ride and see where it takes you, that's what. And the Pizza tower moments of this game that's already pretty darn Pizza Tower or when the game just throws up its garlic-soaked hands and goes, you know what, this dopamine hits on us. And the only thing better than that is when you earn those moments, soaring through enemies, pulling perfect turns, and using that momentum to become unstoppable. These euphoric moments may be hard-earned, but they are always worth their weight in awesome. And, wait, shh, shh, do you hear that? That sounds a little like one of the most red-hot video game soundtracks I have ever heard, whoa! Did, did Pizza Tower? need to go this ridiculously hard on the music? Wrong question! What you should be asking is how in the holy name of Sausage Alfredo Pasta is this game only $20? You will go to jail for buying this game because that is actual robbery for artistry of this caliber. I mean, have you seen these title card graphics? I want each and every one of these framed in my bedroom. And beyond that, just the art of Pizza Tower in general is a lucid nightmare come true. These terrifically detailed backgrounds add that little extra dash of love into every single level, and show just how committed the developers were to making this game's visuals go the extra mile. And that just compounds onto the character animations and the little screen in the top right, and all these bonus visuals that are packed with character and humor and... God, I just can't praise this game enough! Mmm! Pizza Tower! And beyond all that, this is just a fun-ass game to watch. I was on the edge of my seat as I watched my girlfriend's first hour of gameplay, where she got a P rank on Pepper Man by sugarcoating him. She's pretty Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower is a lot like a cinnamon roll flavored pizza. It's beautifully unique, effortlessly awesome, and if you check the fourth page of the credits, there's someone named Fatima Pussy Bitch Velikez. I love this game for its humor, its art, its gameplay, and its creativity. But above everything else, I love it because it's Pizza Tower.